Did you see it at the Super Bowl? Uh, no, I saw it after. You saw it after the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, I missed it. So you saw it when I showed it to you yeah. originally? And that was a couple weeks ago? Yeah. And now you saw it again? I don't know. Yeah. And going through it again, I, I was surprised again at the end of the commercial seeing a Dodge truck there and it's like, oh my god, it's, it's a car commercial. And just having watched the entire thing, it's kind of, it seems wrong to me, honestly, where it's, because it's a clear emotional play to try to get sales on cars. Okay, but you're a business major. Yeah. As a business major, I know that that's a thing. That's a, that's a ploy. That's a typical ad, people's potential sob stories and people's potential yeah. successes and everything. As that's people's lives and people's livelihoods, and you're using it as a way to sell cars, and that's all I see as a business major. That's all I see when I look at it. Is wow, I can't believe they went that far in a car commercial. But it's what is not like, what is different in this commercial than most commercials? What sets that, this one apart? Uh, one of it, part of it, is that is a huge relation to God and America, and. America being a country of freedom of religion, meaning freedom from religion, we do not have a state religion. We're not, as many people would believe, a Christian nation. That it's, it, it's the emotional part of it, is where it's the, it it's the emotion, and it's, it, it's really emotional. And like, I think people, people seeing that, I, I was a little emotional the first time I saw it. Like, I don't, I'm an atheist, and I thought that was, that was an excellent commercial. Like, it's, it's great. And that much emotion and that much, like, People are like, I re this is awesome. Like I said, I would support whatever this is in front of. And whatever then at the very they end, at the end, at the very end, and, and like this is like this could be a thing for literally. This could have been a commercial just for America. Yeah. This I, I would like even as an atheist with even with all the God stuff. This is a commercial for America. Like that's great. I totally when when the most amount of Americans are watching like this being it, and to throw a car. And being the object of it at the end, yeah, it just cheapens the all length, of it. And, and the it, I think that I just think people need to understand that yeah. they're not doing it with the intention of being patriots. They're doing it with the intention of selling cars, money, 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 money. That's all. It's all. That's it. It's but everything. people don't care because they're like no, I like because they're like oh they're donating part of the profits to Farm America. Point. Part oh. of the profits. Yeah. Part of the profits. What part? Tell me what part. How much of a part? You want to look it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do. Because that way they're if they said that they'd be held accountable. And so basically. Since, and if that with that general non-specific promise, <laughs> they could give twenty dollars to some farmer that they happen to drive up upon, and contractually they they'd have held up there. So account. basically, they donated one million dollars to future farmers. No, 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 no. They made the video which got so much attention that it was able to secure a donation of over a million dollars to the FFA. Okay. Dodge itself paid the FFA for the video <laughs> because the way they're wording it is basically tiptoeing around it. If Dodge had donated this much money to it, it would say, Chrysler donates a million dollars to future farmers of America. 